Have you ever had a weird grid fill like this in Blender, but then randomly got the correct grid fill on another attempt and wondered what was different? Uh -huh. To explain what seems like random behavior, grid fill takes into account the active selected element or the last selection that you made. And we can see this as represented by where this strange looking triangular quad gets placed on the active selected vertex. So for more consistent results, have your active selection be a vertex located in a corner. Or alternatively, you can fill the area with a massive n-gon face first and then run the grid fill. Or you can hide the selection with H and then unhide it with Alt H and then run the grid fill. Another common issue that you might run into with grid fill is the error of select two edge loops or a single closed edge loop from which two edge loops can be calculated and that's just about as clear as mud in telling you what's wrong. In simple terms this just means that your selection has an odd number of verts and a grid needs to be even. An easy way to break things down is to look at your selection as a square and count the number of verts on each side as having an even number of verts can still produce poor results if vert counts aren't equal across the top and bottom, left and right sides. Another area you might get is connecting edge loops overlap, in which case you just need to adjust the span and offset until things fill properly. So now that you understand how the grid fill logic works and how to resolve its various errors, you should be able to easily grid fill areas on your model without issue.